Today we're gonna check out episode 12 of Irumakun, and we left off completing the exams, so now we're gonna see how they spend their time after exams, the, the summer break stuff, hopefully. Maybe they'll skip over that and it'll go right back to school, I don't really know, so let's jump into it. Logo reveal. But before we do, most of you are not subscribed to the channel, so support the content if you enjoy it and join the community if you haven't already. And you can find the full length version as well as exclusives over on Patreon, plus if you're interested in manga, I'll be unboxing a lot of manga sunday september 11th over on my twitch channel you can find the link in the description so if you're interested make sure you stop by should be a lot of fun oh we are definitely getting some summer break episodes I wonder what it is. You have gotten my interests piqued. Yeah, I would too. That's kind of ominous. That's crazy, dude. I never noticed that person. You know there's somebody else in their class that nobody talks about? They're just there. And you don't even notice. Literally in the big shots where you see everybody from the class, they're there in the corner. That's crazy. I literally did not notice, notice their existence ever. That is wild. There they are on the left. Oh my God, that's so crazy. Somebody pointed it out during episode 10. It was either episode nine or 10 on Patreon. They pointed it out to me. Holy shit, that's crazy. Mm, we get to meet families. Whoa, 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 whoa. Spend the night too, huh? <laughs> that bird was like, what's your problem, dude? <laughs> How dare you disrespect the Ruma? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's so crazy. If I learn anything from JoJo's, that means fuck you. They literally just said fuck you to him. That's a lot for a little kid to say. That's crazy. Or is it only fuck you if you use the middle finger to do it? I don't know. Bro, is every student just going to talk about Iruma? Oh my god, the Clara home is the worst. They're about to sing a, me a song. <laughs> you put a foot in. Time for singing. May seem slow. Whoa. You're so different. Who is this imposter? <laughs> no, there's an imposter amogus, bro. <laughs> He's so different from them. Get out of there, brother! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
You notice when they were about to start singing, the normal brother was not there. Oh, okay, we are going to see everyone else too. Good. <laughs> That's weird. That was the only normal one that he could possibly have. Wow! Look at him! He look cutie though! Oh! 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 He doesn't want to beat up people! Everybody keeps on trying to fight him! Oh, and it was opera. Demon face. Or not. Opera. Damn. Damn. Opera does have an androgynous look, though. I really don't know what pronoun to refer, so I just say opera. <laughs> it fucking all up in the book. Yeah, that's why you were saved for last because everyone had something else to say about you. Aww. Kalego! What a good teacher! Hmm. Equating responsibility with self-sacrifice. Interesting. I, I ship them. I ship Opera and, and Caligo. I can't. There's that one lady that loves him, so I can't. <laughs> Next episode, Summer Vacation. Okay, part of this episode, too? That's a big ass bed, bro. That bed is the size of my room. Walter Park. Oh, I thought it was a water park. I was fooled. Hey, what is Walter Park supposed to be? Like Walt Disney World? Like a little kid. Oh, foreshadowing! About to be a massive suki. Oh, or not. Dang, he gonna look like Lily uh, from Don Machi walking around with that backpack. Bodyguards. Oh, 
Okay. Damn! <laughs> That's good. Good episode, man. Just, ah, uh, it's just fun, you know? So this episode focused on Kalego meeting every family, which I guess he's kind of met. Or no, well, we've kind of met them already, but now he meets them. He meets every single one of them. And he's prepared notebooks about each student, good things, bad things, potential, all of that. And he goes over that with family members of every student. It was pretty good. It was, it was a wholesome episode. A lot of people had things to say. Well, I guess it was only really Alice that had something to say about Iruma. But Iruma has affected everyone in some way. And we also found out about Kalego's past when he was in school as a freshman. Opera was his senpai. And uh, they refer to Opera as androgynous, which is totally accurate because I do not know what pronouns I would use. So I just go with... What is it called when it, what is it, proper noun? Proper noun, that's like the name, right? I think, I don't know, man. I haven't been in school for like fucking decade. It's been a minute, so. Yeah, I just stick with the proper nouns, it's easier. Yeah, so uh, Opera actually beat the shit out, uh, Opera's strong. Opera beat the shit out of a lot of students and Apparently in high school, they had black hair. So I guess opera is, you know, changed their hair at some point in time, dyed it to be red, or maybe it's naturally red, but they were dyeing it to be black. I don't know. Regardless, opera was beating everyone up, looked similar. When you like try to describe opera, they looked similar to Kalego. Black unkept hair, horns, uh, androgynous look. I don't really see the androgynous look part for Kalego as much as I do for Opera, but whatever. Yeah, this was just like a fun little episode. Oh, we found out that Clara's got like a family member that's not weird. That's crazy. She has like a normal person family member instead of like what most of her family is, singing and dancing all the time. This one was just like normal. Her younger brother, but the eldest of the brothers. So she's the eldest sibling, but there's a brother below her. I mean, unless there's a sibling above her, I don't I don't really know that much, but there is this eldest brother. So whoever, like, I guess just under her is this brother that is normal. <laughs> I just like that. I, I would say that that's probably my favorite part of this whole thing. This stuff with, with Clara's family. It's just great, man. Clara's just weird. Okay, so I do want to go over two things. Now, one, I, as I was mentioning, there is this other character that somebody pointed out to me during the last three episodes that I did. Uh, somebody pointed it out to me on Patreon. They were like, at this time, or they're like in the scene just before the credits, I think it was episode nine, in the scene just before the credits and at the end of the credits, do you know who that person is? And then I went and looked and I was like, what? And and I was like looking at the class scene. And I was like, bro, that's just the class. It took me a second and I noticed somebody. There is a person that is in their class. They have another student in their class that they never talk about. And I don't even know how far back it goes. I don't know if it started with Royal One or if it's prior. I think it might've started with Royal One. Have they just been at Royal One this entire time? Who is this person? That is extremely interesting to me. I wanna learn more about them. The other thing that was brought to my attention, which I kind of feel dumb about, um, somebody was like, I wonder if um, Durkula and Alicred is, uh, or no, I think they said like that Dracula and Alicred are supposed to be like Dracula and Alucard, you know, but more like, I don't know, Japanese pronounced, pronounced, right? And then I realized, that Alicred is Durkula backwards. Um, so Alicred is the demon lord. And now I wanna know, how did they get into this situation where they're trapped in a fucking ring? And like how, why, who did it? I have a lot of questions about Alicred and about Durkula. That's just some things that I've discovered recently. This is the one thing that I don't like, it's kind of a spoiler, right? Like I should be figuring out these things on my own, but I don't think it's like really a spoiler because it's something like that was, that I would say is kind of obvious, right? The names being backwards, because like we found out both names. It's not like nobody ever taught, like Alicred was never brought up and they're like, oh yes, the demon Lord, Durkula. Three seasons go by there. We don't like Ali has just been Ali this whole time, but never mentioned as Alicred. And then somebody's like, you know, Ali's full name is Alicred and that's backwards Durkula. Like that would be a spoiler, but we already knew the names though. Th bringing that up to me is kind of like, leading the horse to the water, you know, like it's, it's like, it's, it's, it's bringing me to the realization, which is like a soft spoiler. And in most cases, I'm not a big fan of it, but I think that this one's, it's not like they were like, 
Oh, well, did you know that Ali created is Dracula backwards? And the reason they got trapped in the ring was because like that would be a big spoiler, you know? Anyways, regardless, I just wanted to, to let you all know that I die. That is something I have realized, those two things. Let me know your thoughts on this episode down in the comments below. How do you feel about the different families and, you know, all the things I mentioned. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. And until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.